I'm standing here in the middle of the Sahara Desert in front of the biggest cement plant project in the Middle East. The Yamama cement plant Tyson Group is building at the moment. And this is the entrance. You will learn more in the following minutes about what our people have achieved under tough weather conditions. Follow me. Ahlen was Ahlen the Mauka Yamama cement. Is me Jörg Erhard, and I'm with you in Mauka, Mineral Sharkel Tyson Group. That's what Arabish. Being the general site manager, I'm actually in charge for each and everything over here. Fortunately, we have a good team and we trust each other and we can deliver what is expected. The whole project is for me very, very impressive. Imagine a German company is doing a mega project in Saudi, which is a completely different culture with a Chinese subcontractor. And how many people contribute to this project? And here, here is the very spot where everything comes together. And that is for me uh, like magic. I think we should all be proud to be a part of this huge project. And the quality in general in this project is very high. The importance of occupational health and safety is nowhere more obvious than at our construction sites. Here, up to 3,000 workers from 36 nations are working together in an extreme heat environment and at heights up to 180 meters. Plus, there's heavy ground traffic, rush hour under the Arabic sun. Therefore, before you can enter the site, a health and safety training is mandatory. It's a huge project in terms of size, in terms of manpower, uh, in terms of the hazards and, and the risks uh, that need to be managed uh, for occupational safety and health. It's a big challenge. We have uh, about 3,200 3, people on site, so it's like a small uh, town or village. We're in the project more than 36 nationalities. I'm basically emergency doctors. It's a big challenge to me to help people. This project is important because it is supporting the government vision 2030 and it will offer almost 1,000 jobs to Saudi and it will cover the local demand of the cement. So I'm now working for the Tyson Group since uh, 1979, so it means when you collect that it's the next year in May, 40 years. So um, I'm in the job of project management more than 30 years now. But this is the biggest one for me. So yeah, the special about the project is the huge size of the project, as you can see here. So we are in the Preta, line number one, on the seventh floor, round about 130 meter, 30 meter. So, and when we have a view here on site, so you see here the raw material storage area for additives. Then you see here the belt conveyors are going up to the cement line. So these are the silos there, when you can see there in the front are six silos for cement. You see there are the three silos for the clinker. Whoever is coming here to the site the first time is very impressed. Oh my goodness, what is that here? So this huge project, you, you have to feel it. Yeah? When you see only the drawings and when you're talking about that one in Germany, you cannot feel it. You have to stay here. You have to stay here and you have to see here the surroundings here. The team here is doing a good job. So now we are staying here in the middle of December, so we have nice weather conditions. But when we are looking back in the years and when we are looking back in the summertime, the people are working here with a temperature of up to 50 degrees. So, and nobody can imagine what it means. So in the afternoon, you can even not touch the handrails. For our customer, we deliver two cement lines at the same time, plus a mobile crusher. This is a Brechanlage, a mobile Brechanlage. The capacity is 1,800 tons in the stunde. And mobile means it can fahren. It makes so about 600 meters in the stunde. This is the foundation for cement. 
Kalkstein, Braucher Brecher. This difficult situation for everybody yeah, to let's say stay away from home for more than two or three months. And that's why we decided to bring my family here from time to time. We did this also in the past. Uh, in order to share the time with the family and not miss that much of the family life. For us it's easy because we only talk about three months. We have subcontractor workers who are here more than 15 months. I think this is very hard for them. Basically everybody has the same target we have to finish as fast as possible in the, in the proper way. That's why we are here. The crushed limestone will be conveyed over a distance of four kilometers to its final destination. An impressive circular storage area. 130 meters in diameter, 40 meters high, and capable to store up to 80,000 tons of raw material. I've started here two years ago. Basically, um, we were completely in the desert here, and here was nothing. And to see the plant um, to be established from the beginning until the end, this is for me the best moment. I come from Yemen. Uh, I joined Testing Crop Desert Solutions uh, before three years. The Yamama Cement Project gives me a big opportunity for my development in the health and safety field. After one year uh, training, I will be back at the Testing Crop Desert Solutions office in Riyadh uh, to uh, continue my, uh, my work in communication and health and safety double function. I have in Deutschland studiert. Uh, genau in online Westfalen in Bonn ähm, und äh, das ist für mich ein großer Vorteil, äh, dass ich ähm, in einer internationalen deutschen Firma arbeite. You really get a feeling when you are here what EPC, Engineering, Procurement and Construction means. It's a huge responsibility for our team, but they take on the challenge. In this um, I can uh, see our design product in reality. Uh, this is very important for the desi designer like me to, to have the good feeling, uh, the steam structure and the equipment, how it looks like on site. We are now here in the heart of the cement factory, let's say, and what we can see is behind me, you can see the kiln number one. In front of the kiln we can see is one of the hearts of our uh, cement plant. It's a raw mill, so-called quadrupole, and we are very proud this is the key equipment of the cement plant to produce the raw mill. As you can see, I have a white shirt and uh, normally I'm in the office uh, calculating the numbers. But what is really, really important is to get the numbers connected to the core of the plant, which is what you can see here. I coordinate and manage uh, one department of 25 people from this group, but we coordinate more than 1,000 employees from the, our Chinese contractor. We are working with uh, many workers from different countries, different cultures, Pakistan, China, Bangladesh, Nepal. It's a big challenge to try to understand their, their thoughts and their behaviors. Also, we are working in a very tough weather conditions, and we try to do our best for getting the best quality for the project, okay? Like a special anecdote that I can say with you is, for example, uh, being working in one casting and suddenly we face a sun storm. <laughs> At our camp, we can host up to 200 people. It offers recreation facilities, and even a fitness center. But actually the heart of our desert camp is the canteen. We serve Asian and of course European food. As the workday starts early, breakfast will be served at 5.30 in the morning. As we are in Saudi Arabia, of course no alcohol will be served. However, you can enjoy a root beer after a hard workday or some traditional Arabic tea. The Yamama project is uh, 
in our ThyssenKrupp Industrial Solution history the biggest cement project. We have more than 60 years collaboration with Yamama, our client here. We have built all lines in past. The client knows our technology very well and expected a lot from us for quality, time matters, also from the education of the people here in Saudi Arabia. If you see behind me the development of Riyadh, all the new structures, the new buildings, if you see development in Saudi Arabia, that means for me we need uh, cement here as strategic uh, uh, product. This is the What I could experience here in Saudi Arabia in the last two days was a highly professional team and experience, willing to deliver, dedicated to get the work done, and we should never forget, they are out there for us. These are our people at Industrial Solutions.